Now, I have done all the talking, but there's a man who, is, who will do better talking than I do. Well, many of you know him in his days um, with complete sports, and he has this uh, compendium, this analysis of World Cup. Every year there is a World Cup. He used to be with Complete Sports, and now he's with the Star Times Media Group as a marketing director. Kazim Elegbede, glad to have you join us. It's a pleasure, Solo. Uh, what do we have at the World Cup this time? Who will win it? Brazil, Argentina, <laughs> Germany, the defending champions of Spain? Oh, well, um, it's a ritual every four years, and um, before a ball is kicked, I used to pick four teams who will play in the semi-finals. Maybe this year will be different, but I already have my four teams. Yes, fans of Argentina, sorry, I'm going to break your heart because I don't see Argentina in the semi-finals. Yes, Messi, all the players. Argentina, they've got fantastic players, but not yet fantastic team. So I go straight. I look at France, the team I tip to win the cup, actually. I look at Brazil. I look at Spain and I look at Germany. Germany as the very champions, they will not go all the way. I mean, the, the history is, is there unless they want to break it this time around. Once you win the Confederations Cup, forget it, you are not going to, you are even going to struggle at the World Cup. And if you look at the last six friendlies played by Germany, they only won one. So the signs are there, but they have a burning group. So, and you know, typical German, you can never write them off. They qualify from that group, first knockout stage, second knockout stage, I see them, they could be in the last four, but they are not going to go, they are not likely to go all the way. I'm not God, but putting all these uh, parameters together, I think it's going to be France. And the reason why I say that is, aside France, I will be looking at Brazil. Brazil, they are primed to win the cup. But you look at the two teams, France and Brazil, you look at the players, you look at the, I mean, these are teams that could actually file out three teams at the World Cup and they will be very, very competitive. But history favors France. All the time they've met Brazil, since 1986, they've always altered Brazil's run, unless it's going to change this year. So I'm going with history, that's why I say France will win the cup. Actually, I see France playing Brazil in the semi-finals, and then Spain, Germany in the other semi-final. Then you have your final, France, Spain. And I, I think if it happens, I want to believe it's going to be a one way in favor of France. Well, let's look at the African teams. Um, which of the teams will go very far? Yeah, um, we said I was here on set before the World Cup draw, and we were looking at the draws. We said lock of the draw. Um, incidentally, Egypt got lock of the draw. You won't say that for uh, Morocco. You won't say that for Nigeria or Senegal. Um, last World Cup. Brazil 2014, two African teams made it to the second round, Nigeria and, and Algeria. Unfortunately, what I'm seeing, the way, looking at all the friendlies, all the teams, I think only one will make it this time around. I st I, I, I'd like to be proved wrong. And um, unfortunately, again, that one team is not Nigeria. Yes, a lot of, a lot of Nigerians, I'm in Nigeria, I want Nigeria to do it. I want Nigeria to go all the way. That is what my heart says. But my head tells me Nigeria will, will have it tough in that group. Qualifying from that group alone is an over, it will be an overachievement, I'm telling you. And um, this is why, I mean, look at the rankings. We are not even close, 48 to the least ranked team again being 22, Iceland. And uh, I will tell you a, a couple of reasons why I don't think Nigeria will make it. But the team that I think will make it, actually, yeah, yeah two teams, Egypt and Senegal. Sorry, I said one, but Egypt and Senegal. Senegal has a very tough group, but they also have a very good team, and they have... In their, in their team, the coach who has experienced the World Cup. You know, their first time going to the World Cup, 19, I mean, 2002, they shocked France, and Alucisse was the captain of that team. So we, they would draw from that experience, and with the caliber of players they have, I, I think they will maneuver their way into the second round. Egypt, why I'm not saying Egypt might go through is because of Russia. Russia are the host. And since inception of the World Cup in 1930, only one host has failed to qualify for the second round, that's South Africa in 2010. All other hosts, talk of USA, talk of weak teams, they will qualify. As hosts, they always find a way to qualify for the second round. So Russia is not as if they have a very strong team, but they are the hosts, you have to give it to them. Uruguay stands out in that group as the group favorites. So if Uruguay picks the top ticket as expected, and the Russia as hosts going by history, this morning I'm going with history, going okay. by history, so it will be 
Uruguay, Russia, Egypt, probably thought, and they will not make it. So sad. But I think Senegal will make it. Morocco, they have a very, very tough task. I mean, looking at Spain, looking at uh, uh, Portugal, you want to believe in that group. These two teams will go through, not Morocco. All right. Thank you very much there, Kazim Elegwede. I wish we had a lot more time to talk about this. But as the World Cup drags on, we will bring you back mm. and we'll look at how it will go. But Nigeria plays the first game against Croatia, well, on Saturday. Well, that's but all. Before we go, let me also send this note of warning. We have to get a result from that game. Otherwise, we are out. Each time Nigeria have lost the first match in the World Cup, we've always finished bottom of our group. <laughs> all right. So please, st start saying your prayers. Because Croatia, they are talented, they are very experienced. I mean, player for player, we, we, we don't match them. All right. Well, you've had it there, but then player for player, Nigeria also did not match Spain in 1998, mm -hmm. but Nigeria won that game. That will be all of sports on The Breakfast Show this morning. But then Mike and Ngozi are still here for the little time left. Mm -hmm.